get a job of it. Hello, my name is Captain Philip. I'm a flight instructor and a simulator instructor at Proactive Air Services. Today we are going to be having a simulator session with one of my students who currently holds a commercial pilot license and is training on his multi-instrument rating. This is a Redbird full motion simulator. The latest version from Redbird and one of the only four in Kenya. Be starting the red bird full motion simulator using my mobile device and this is what makes it one of the one of its kind in Kenya so currently we've uh, configured a full motion simulator to the Baron 58 and our multi instrument rating trainee is going to take us to the checks okay, so we have uh, the checklist the checklist it's for Baron 58 mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to start our aircraft but before we start there are some checks that we are going to go through first of all uh, we have the circuit breakers on in we have the trims elevator trim is set neutral another trim is neutral the mixture it's full reach, throttle, yeah. exercise and set, then throttle is set to a quarter, we have our props, full form, the flaps are up, all the electrics are off, then uh, the master is on. Okay, starting engines we have uh, battery and alternators on. Magnetos on. Both throttle we have full forward. Auxiliary palm on for five seconds. Set one inch. We have the parking brakes on. Foot on the brakes. Left engine clear start. So not it will start for both engines. Yeah. It will start for both engines. Eh? Okay. So RPM. RPM 1000 RPM 1000 RPM throttle That's good yeah. Okay, we can go to the other page because all the engines are started up so confirm your alternators are charging the loads, both of them. So after start, you can do after start. Yeah? After start, alternators, then start. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Let's continue. Yes, yeah, set concept. Set compass. So as we have an exercise, no? we have an exercise. Slate. Yeah, slate. The altimeter. We have a QNH of 2.8.9. Uh, the map lights. Set as required. 
navigation lights set uh -huh. navigation beacon landing taxi strobe zote on taxi sindo so put taxi light on taxi lights okay Clubs already up. Good. So today in our full motion simulator, we're going to be flying the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority Instrument Route 1. So we have uh, COM 1, NAV 1, and then COM 2 and NAV 2. So we have box 1 and box 2. Um, multi-instrument rating trainee is going to set up the boxes and we also have an autopilot but currently will not be using the autopilot okay so, so on you can go ahead one, we have been uh, the active frequency that is with on tower at 118.1 On standby, we have radar, which is one two two decimal three. Then on nav one, uh, in case of an emergency, we are going to have an ILS and a zero six JKA. That is November Lima one one zero decimal three. Then on standby we are having uh, November Victor at 113.1. The final approach course will be 053. On COM2 we are having uh, 80s, that is aerodrome terminal information services at 126.2. Standby, we are having Jomo Tower at 118.7. On NAV 2, we are having uh, November Victor at 113.1. And uh, on standby we have Go Vita at one one five decimal nine. For us to be able to fly one 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 five decimal nine. Okay, confirm. Now to fly to the beacons we need to test them. So I'm going to test uh, uh, NAV2, that is November Victor. Now, this is called uh, VOR. So I'm going to twist until I center the CDI. And as you can see, the CDI centers at uh, 079. So I'm going to test for any errors on the instrument by twisting for maximum deflection to the left and to the right. So maximum deflection to the right uh, should be expected at 069. It is maximum deflection to the left should be 089. As you can see, the instrument has no error. Then I will further twist the instrument through 180 and test for further errors with the front flag. As you can see, uh, the CDI is entering on uh, 259. So I'll test for maximum deflection to the left. 
reflection that two new four nine as it is. Then not small reflection to the right at two six nine. Then I'll continue twisting and set my first radio outbound, which is going to be two eight eight based on November Victor. On nav one. On nav one. Mm -hmm. I have the ILF set in the final. So confirm your yeah, nav one is on V lock. Yes, uh -huh. nav one on, uh, it's currently on GPS. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, good. Okay. So currently we have a flag, so that means we are out of range. Out of range. Yeah. So it's not active until you get your board. So set to zero five three. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that's heading bug? The heading bug. My first heading after takeoff will be three three zero. As set. That is a turn to the right. So, flaps. Flaps. We have setting of 10 degrees. So, five Yankee Charlie Bravo Hotel from Munson Tap. Go ahead for five Yankee Charlie Bravo Hotel. Five Yankee Charlie Bravo Hotel. Uh, red uh, clears your flight level 100. Instrument route one via Gold Victor. Instrument route one point zero one zero zero by a Charlie Bravo Hotel. Uh, stand by departure. Stand by departure, Charlie Bravo Hotel. So confirm you have your information, artist information. Uh, ready to copy information. Yes. So now for uh, com two. Com two. Com two. Com two. So as we start the flight, uh, as we do our takeoff during the turn to 330, I will show you some of the features of the simulator. I'll be changing weather, maybe the wind conditions. Yeah, you'll just see them as we go on. So 5 Yankee, Charlie Bravo Hotel, you're cleared runway, takeoff runway 07. With the right turnout, wind is calm. Clear takeoff runway 07, wind is calm, Charlie Bravo Hotel. Okay, so we have the throttles to the phone. Ah, uh, yeah, cut the dog off green. It is not yet at top of green.